Hey friends, my name is C, and you're watching Yi Mr. Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Maths. And today, we have questions for the integration of trig functions or trigonometric functions. And these questions are from MathSpace or this website right here, so I'll link it in the description so you can check it out. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss on any future videos. And we'll get right into question one. So number one, integrate with, with respect to x of this function right here. So remember to, to, to integrate trig functions, we have two things. So number one, to see whether it has ax plus b, which is what it's inside the bracket right now, like ax where a is 2 and b is pi over 3. And the second one is to look at the what trig function it is and how to integrate it. So let's just rewrite it, 5 cos 2x cos 2x plus pi over 3 dx sorry it's a bit messy I'll just rewrite this cos so number one we can just what, what we can do is that we can isolate 5 because 5 is a constant so we have to do 5 over because in integration everything has to be over the coefficient so what it what, what it's over by is that it's over by the denominator it's over by the differential or the derivative of the bracket so the derivative of 2x plus pi over 3 is 2 because if you differentiate it, you'll get 2. So it'll be 5 over 2. And then in part 2, you have to find in the integral of cos and there will be sine. So just think of it backwards. If sine differentiates, will you get cos? Yes, you will. So the integral of cos will be sine. Then the bracket will remain the same as 2x plus pi over 3. And let's just rewrite it in a new color because we can't forget the plus c. So it'll be 5 over 2 sine 2x plus pi, oops, 2x plus pi over 3 plus c. And that's the answer. And number 2, integrate with respect to x of this function right here. So let's just rewrite it, root, uh, sorry, the integral of minus 5 cos pi over 4 dx which just shows that it's with respect to x so i'll just isolate the the constant first so it'll be this pi over 4 dx so we can basically just uh differentiate the bracket and do that value you do the coefficient over that value so differentiate pi uh, x over 4 you get 1 over 4. so you do minus 5 which is a coefficient over 1 over 4 or over 0 0.25 that will get us minus 20 and now you have to uh, you have to integrate the cos which gets sine so it'll be sine and then the bracket will be just x over 4 and then you close bracket and we'll write, it, we'll write it in a new color with the plus c so that we don't forget the plus c so it'll be minus 20 sine x over 4 plus c and that's the answer and then we move on to the third question evaluate this function right here so often when you have the word evaluate uh, compared to integrate with respect to x means that you, the answer will be a value a number like a numerical value so we can just we can just first integrate the whole function first so the upper limit is 4 and lower limit is 2 0 0.5 sine x over 4 dx so let's put a, a square bracket so you have to differentiate the bracket which gets us 1 over 4 and then you do 0 0.5 over 1 over 4 right because it's a coefficient over the, the derivative of the bracket which gets us 2 because 5 over 0 0.25 is sorry 0 0.5 over 0 0.25 is 2 and then you have to integrate the trig function. In this case, the trig function is sine, and the, the integral of sine will be minus cos. Because think of it backwards. If you differentiate minus cos, you get sine. And if you, if you differentiate cos, you get minus sine. So the integral of sine will be minus cos, minus cos, pi over 4, and then close off the, the closing of the square bracket. And the upper limit, put it here, 4 and 2. And then what you can do now is you can, you can just evaluate it. So it'll, it'll be split into two brackets, minus 2 
cos 4 over 4 minus minus 2 cos 2 over 4 and then you can type it into your calculator and get a value and my value is 0 0.675 in radians red right so oops i should use a new color so the answer is 0 0.675 675 red radius so radians and then the last question evaluate this as well so it's just like the question just now but it has two trip functions so this is a specific step by step 3 to 1 say sine x minus cos x dx so the square bracket so there's no ax plus b in the bracket for the sine and the cos so just don't worry about it just worry about the different symbol or the signs so 6 is remain as 6 so but if you integrate sine as mentioned you get minus cos so minus 6 cos x and then minus cos you you integrate it to get minus sine because you have a minus sign like a minus symbol here and naturally cos just becomes sine when you integrate it so there's no symbol or sign change so it'll just be sine x so close bracket upper limit 3 lower limit is 1 and now you can evaluate it by doing minus 6 cos 3 minus sine 3 minus minus 6 cos 1 minus sine 1 like so because you're basically just inputting the bracket of, of like the limit to the different um, x values and if you tap that into our calculator you get a value of 9.88 radians red and that's the final answer and that's it for this short video for the questions for integration of trig functions and i hope you'll find it useful and helpful and if you did Please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. And if you have any comments or constructive feedback about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram or my website, you can comment down below in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemisteasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be the rules and examples for the integration or the integral of exponential and logarithmic functions, namely natural logs or LN. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.